If you want to see me swatch the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and yes, just as you heard, I am going to swatch the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. I just recently swatched the Saharan palette. If you want to see that swatch video, I will put it right here. And this is a final nine pen palette that I have from Juvia's Place that I'm going to swatch. It is last, but I have a feeling it is not least. I really appreciate the color scheme of this palette as far as the packaging. I think it was extremely well executed. And when we get into the to the inside of the palette, I should say, it is one of the few that does not have a design on the inside. I thought that was kind of interesting. So sometimes the nature of the design repeats on the inside, but it's not the case for this palette for some reason or another. So let's just focus on the shadows for a moment. Now this has a yellow background, which somehow I don't find as tough to look at in understanding the shadows as some of the other color background choices that they have made. I sometimes find that the color of the background really um, impedes my ability to understand what the color really looks like. But in this case, it looks like it's not too, too bad. The only thing I can see here though is that it is white lettering on a yellow background, which I think could be a little bit tough for some people to, uh, to read. And I'm trying to see here, I wonder if these are all tribe names again. There's Nomad. I don't know if that is a tribe, ma uh, tribe name or not. Very often there's a, a specific uh, theme to the names. And in this case, I can't really uh, tell what it is. Anyway, that is for me to take a look at offline, obviously. Um, and I'm going to do the same as I've done for the other uh, nine patent palettes, is I'm going to go row by row. And this is probably the most exciting row to me in this palette. The, um, the Zora looks amazing to me, and it's, it's deeper in person than what I think the camera is showing you. But let's just get to swatching, and we'll see what it looks like um, at the end of the day. And we're going to start off with the top row and move down. So we've got Marrakesh, um, Aziza, and Hadia. So that's what they look like. Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? Okay, let's see what they look like. Marrakesh, Aziza, That is neat. Very light. Could be a really great brow bone highlight. And Hadia. Oh, nice. Oh boy, that's smooth. Very, very nice on that one. That is a great combination with those three. Okay, let's swatch them again. Here are the fingers. To say Mar Marrakesh is um, probably my favorite so far, although I have a feeling that Aziza, as it builds up, might might surprise me. So we'll see. Marrakesh, Aziza, Aziza, yeah, Aziza, and Hadia. Can't even read it, but as I was looking at it, the name came back to me. Like I said, the white lettering on the yellow, not easy. The fingers, it's looking really good. This is a beautiful peach to yellow duochrome. Very, very nice. They're all they're all quite, quite pretty. I'm I'm pretty happy with the first set of three here. I would love to understand how they come up with their color combinations for these palettes because they are all so different from one another. Some brands you can, there's kind of a recipe to how the colors come together and I don't get that sense from this brand at all. And we're going uh, to the second row where I did swatch one of them. 
And here are the fingers, and I'll show you the row because I didn't do that. So we're on the middle row right now. Hopefully the glare is not too, too bad. And let's see here, we've got Berber, Nomad, and Chief Chatwin. Chief Chatwin, wow, that is tough. Okay, so Berber, wow, Nomad, another wow, and Chachuan. Oh gosh, I'm probably butchering it. I am so sorry. Look at that color. <gasps> nice, that is beautiful. All three of those are beautiful. Correction, all six. That is beautiful. Look at that blue. That is an intense blue. Okay, going in for a second pass, although I don't think the blue needs it. But too late, I've swatched it, so we're, we're committed. We're gonna go for it. It really doesn't need a second swatch. Just humor me. <laughs> all right. Second one of this one. That is just gorgeous. And Chef Xuan, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. it sounds, I'm saying it like it sounds like Szechuan. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. This is the one. Let's see if I can just even this out a little bit. Okay, so here is the second set of three right there. That green is very light, but I could see how it would be very striking on the eye. That is just beautiful. It shifts, depending on how you, you see it on the light, it really shifts to an intense lime. It makes me think of the Cleona Aftershock highlighters is what this color makes me think of. And every single time I wear that shifting lime green on my inner lid from Cleona, I get people saying, your eye look is beautiful today. And that is um, not just on, on YouTube. I get told just on the street, perfect strangers will say, what do you have on your eye? That's beautiful. So it's it really makes me think of that. So if... Um, you haven't tried this on your inner lid and you have that palette, please do so. I think you will not regret it. Now for the row I said I was most excited about, but now they might be on a three-way tie, is this last one. And this one is all mattes. And I think just these three would do a fantastic look. I might be biased because as you see, I have a very deep look today. <laughs> um, if I haven't mentioned it yet, this is my first look for quad of the month number 11 for 2019. I could put the video right here if I haven't linked it, linked it yet. Um, so yeah, let's get to swatching this last matte row. And so we have Fez, Zora, oh my god, and Taza. Right? Fez, Zora, and Taza. Oh gosh, I'm just going to smooth them out. They are mats. They need a little bit more TLC when it comes to swatches. Okay, beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at the intensity of those colors. I do wonder what they're going to be like on the second pass. Uh, there's definite grit in um, Zora, but Zora is... Anytime you have a purple or a deep red matte, they tend to be gritty. Same thing with purple mattes. But here we go. So second pass of these. Look at how that builds beautifully on itself. Super. Oh yeah, 
definitely good for a look just on its own there. This is a very interesting set of colors. One last look at the fingers there. Jeez. Holy cow. Beautiful. So what am I thinking here? You know what? I think that these two would be a great combo. Honestly. That might sound weird, but I think I think they would be. And I'm not huge on neutrals, but I have to say that these three would, I think, make a beautiful combination. And that blue, holy. Yeah, how about, how about this one, this one, and what was I thinking? Um, this one, this one, and this one would probably make a really nice combo as well. Wow. Just, wow. So let me just sum this palette up for you for a second as far as my impressions. As far as a palette in and of itself, it is a very good color story. I, I do think it is. As far as its ranking in the Juvia's Place palettes, it's not my favorite, but I think you heard my enthusiasm. So it's probably middle of the pack based on everything else I've seen from Juvia's Place. But if I were to rank my Juvia's Place in among my whole collection, they would tend to rank pretty high. So am I happy that I have this palette? Yes. Would it be in my top three recommendations for Juvia's Place? No, it wouldn't be. But it's still high up in my view of my whole collection, if that makes sense. Once I have really my thoughts on every one of the Juvia's Place uh, palettes that I have, and I'm probably going to end up owning all of them because they just surprise me, I would probably be inclined to do a ranking with an explanation why for all of the Juvia's Place palettes that I have. So if that's of interest to you, please let me know. Um, I would look to do it sooner than later. They, they are definitely really good, but I think that they are all good for different reasons. And of course, that would be greatly affected by your style of as a, as a makeup enthusiast uh, compared to what other people are looking for. Is this a solid palette? Absolutely. The one that is going to be the standout shade in this palette for me is going to be the green and second only to that center red color um, at the on the bottom row. So this one um, really surprised me. And third would be that blue just because it's it's now it is not a color that I would ever buy. But now that I have it, I'm kind of going, Whew, how could I use this? So really intrigued by it. But anyway, that is it for the Saharan 2 from Juvia's Place. I hope you enjoyed this swatches video. Please let me know what you think. I do look forward to your feedback and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.